Imagine a time when our ancestors roamed the earth, constantly on the edge of survival. In the shadows lurked fearsome predators, apex hunters that shaped the course of human evolution. Natural fears such as being scared of the dark, thunderous sounds, and even monsters, all stem from these frightening situations that our ancestors would have fallen into. Today, I'll delve into the untold stories of these ancient beasts, unveiling the epic battles and primal instincts that our ancestors faced. Ten-foot cave bears, giant eagles, and ancient hyenas, just a few ancient deadly meat-eaters that once preyed upon us vulnerable hominids. This was the world of human versus ancient predator, where survival was the ultimate test for our early human predecessors. In 2016, archaeologists discovered bones from an early species of human who lived in North Africa 500,000 years ago that shows signs of having likely been eaten by an ancient giant hyena. Large teeth marks in the femur, which were found in a cave in Morocco, suggest it was made by a prehistoric hyena. Scientists suggest the early human, or hominin, had been eaten shortly after death. They claim to have found evidence this ferocious creature, which was more than twice the size of modern spotted hyenas in Africa, would have dominated northern Africa and western Europe at the time. This giant hyena, which stood about 100 centimeters at the shoulder and may have weighed 150 kilograms, the size of a lioness. This would make it the largest hyena to have ever lived. It lived between the Middle Pliocene and the Middle Pleistocene, about 3 million to 500,000 years ago. Fossil remains have been found in many localities of Eurasia and southern and eastern Africa. It probably was a small pack hunter of large animals, up to deer's size and occasionally larger, and also scavenged for food. Possibly it preferentially did the latter because it was a very heavy set animal not built for chasing prey over long distances. In this aspect it would have differed from the spotted hyena of today which is a more nimble animal that contrary to its image as a scavenger, usually kills its own food but often gets displaced by lions. It would have directly competed with early humans like Homo antecessor, which were the first hominids believed to arrive in Europe, for food left behind by predators. It is thought the bones that were chewed by the ancient hyena belonged to an early human species called Homo rhodesiensis, although it has yet to be conclusively attributed to an individual human species. A fossil find from 2007 shows that 1.84 million years ago, a 25-foot-long horned crocodile may have leaped from the water to snack on early humans, studies suggest. The described species has been dubbed Crocodilus anthropophagus, which means eater of humans in Latin. It had two prominent triangular horns over the ears, making it appear fiercer to prey. The croc's fossils were discovered in Tanzania's fossil-rich Oldaway Gorge, a site that was also home to early humans or hominids, such as the tiny species Homo habilis and Australopithecus boisei. Crocodile bite marks had previously been found on hominid bones from the gorge. Based on the latest find, scientists suspect that the crocodile not only ate our ancestors, but that it was their biggest predator at the time. Fossil leg and foot bones of at least two hominids from Oldaway Gorge bear crocodilian tooth marks where they were likely pulled into the water, as they were either drinking or collecting from the lake, just as many people do today. The fossils come from roughly the same time period as the ancient crocodile carnivore, and within roughly 100 meters from where the reptile's skeleton was discovered. The species probably looked and acted much like the modern-day Nile crocodile, which ambushes anything unwary enough to approach the water's edge. Near the dawn of the Pleistocene, Roughly 2.8 million years ago, a young child belonging to the early hominin species Australopithecus africanus was killed by an unidentified ancient bird of prey. In 1924, scientists unearthed a skull fossil of a young Australopithecus africanus toddler in South Africa. The fossil is called the Tong child, owing its name from its proximity to Tong, South Africa. It is believed to have been three and a half years old at the time of death. It was discovered with the fossils of several other animals, indicating they were killed by a predator. 
and all the remains of the animals found together was likely because of where this unknown eagle took his catches to devour. This realization evokes a horrifying scenario. After being plucked from the ground and carried off into the sky, this was where the young Australopithecus child was eaten. Researchers initially suspected the Tong child was killed by a saber-toothed cat or a leopard, but more careful observation of the marks on the skull point toward an unidentified eagle. The injuries on the skull resemble something that would have been the handiwork of an eagle's talon. It also has bite marks indicative of an eagle's beak. The eagle would have been a ferocious predator with features similar to the modern African crowned eagle. The marks at the end of the tong child's eye socket are similar to marks found on the remains of monkeys eaten by eagles. Eagles will usually use their talons and beaks to remove the eyes to reach the brain. Larger predators would have just broken the skull because the sockets would have been too small. One ancient bird of prey that we can identify is the Haas eagle. A huge bird that hunted and ate human children in New Zealand centuries ago. In Maori folklore, the Haas eagle was capable of catching human children, and it most probably did. It wouldn't have had much trouble killing an adult human either. In fact, the eagle's primary prey was the moa, a huge, extinct flightless bird that was many times its size, and bigger than a human. The Haas eagle was the top predator in New Zealand. It was 3 feet tall, 5 feet long, and weighed 30 pounds it had a wingspan of 9.8 feet, and its beak and talons were twice the size of those of the biggest eagle around today. The Maori indirectly caused the extinction of the Haas eagle when they hunted the moa to extinction. The Haas eagle went extinct around 1400, since there was no prey big enough to quench its vicious hunger. More dangerous than crocodiles or birds were leopards. Today, the streamlined and powerful cats predate on baboons, monkeys, chimpanzees, and even occasionally gorillas. Their taste for hominids almost certainly extended to our ancestors over the past three million years. Direct evidence comes from the cranium of a Paranthropus robustus, a species of robust Australopithecine from the early and possibly middle Pleistocene of the cradle of humankind, South Africa. About 2.27 to 0.87 million years ago. The skull cap, dated at 1.5 million years old which belonged to a juvenile, has two 6 mm distinct puncture marks that matches the mandible of an ancient African leopard. To demonstrate this, Dr. C.K. Bryan matched the lower canines of an African leopard with the puncture wounds on the robustus hominin. Both the canines and the puncture wounds were at equal distance. Confirming the two wounds were made by an ancient leopard. Unfortunately for this ancient hominin, it was very likely ambushed by a leopard, then dragged over some distance before being consumed. Scientists of the Lower Saxony Heritage Authority and of the University of Tübingen excavating in north-central Germany have discovered the remains of a saber-toothed cat, preserved in a layer some 300,000 years old, the same stratum in which wooden spears were found, indicating that early humans also inhabited the area, which at that time was the bank of a shallow lake. The humans in that area were probably Homo heidelbergensis. The discovery sheds new light on the relationship between early humans and this beast of prey. It is highly likely that humans were confronted by saber-toothed cats at the Skoningen lakeside. In that case, all the human could do was grab his two-meter-long spear and defend himself. There is no direct evidence of saber-toothed cats eating humans, but there is no doubt these two ancient species would have confronted each other and with the saber tooth weighing up to 620 pounds, capable of running up to 37 miles per hour, and possessing laser-sharp canines that could cut through human flesh with ease, you would think there would only be one winner. But as we know with humans, early and modern, we have our brains as our laser-sharp teeth, being able to make deadly weapons, able to communicate and work effectively and swiftly in large groups. That may not have always been the case. Saber-toothed cats existed from the Eocene through the Pleistocene Epoch, 56 million to around 10,000 years ago. Saber-toothed cats roamed North America and Europe throughout the Miocene and Pliocene epochs. By Pliocene times, they had spread to Asia and Africa. During the Pleistocene, saber-toothed cats were also present in South America. 
The last of the saber-toothed cats to die off were in North America, as recently as 10,000 years ago. They really were the rulers of the world for millennia. This next predator has the potential to claim the highest rank as the animal that instills the most fear in humans. They aren't the biggest or strongest, but they are one of the deadliest. Snakes. One of only a few animals humans have a built-in fear for, a fear that researchers from the Venom Evolution Lab at the University of Queensland have been looking into. And they have discovered that a biological arms race between us shaped how we evolved, both physically and socially. Snakes and primates have been living together for 100 million years, encountering each other across all continents on Earth. The mortal fear of ending up in a snake's belly caused ancient primates to develop bigger brains and sharper eyes. They could already see other predators from farther distances, but snakes were more difficult to spot because they slithered on the floor. They would stealthily move close to their prey before curling around them to suffocate them to death. Snakes preyed on primates and considered them just another source of food. Early primates evolved to see color, movement, and in 3D, which allowed them to spot snakes. Around 60 million years ago, the first venomous snakes evolved. Their venom was a means to defeat the improved eyesight of early primates. In return, early primates developed bigger brains to process visual information faster, and even evolved some resistance to venom. Snakes and humans remain mortal enemies to this day, hence why they have been features in mythology across the globe. No evidence of ancient snakes eating early human exists, as they leave no teeth marks on bone, and the serpents swallow prey intact, and so, unlike crocodilians and mammalian carnivores, have left no trace fossils of predation on early humans. Around 100,000 years ago, a bear much bigger than all bears on Earth today, the cave bear, weighing up to a whopping 2,200 pounds, and measuring up to 10 feet inhabited Europe and its caves until as recently as 24,000 years ago. It inhabited low mountainous areas, especially in regions rich in limestone caves. They seem to have avoided open plains, preferring forested or forest edge terrains. The cave bear lived alongside Neanderthals until the arrival of modern humans 40,000 years ago. It isn't clear that the cave bear actively hunted humans, research suggests maybe not but both species of human, Neanderthals and modern humans, shared the same caves with the bears, leading to violent confrontations. The confrontations were exclusively over habitat, since the cave bear mostly ate plants. Maybe humans won this battle, as the extinction of the cave bear seems to coincide with when modern humans made it into Europe. And last but not least, ourselves, humans. 1.45 million years ago, craving the meatiest chunk of the lower leg, a Paleolithic butcher struck again and again with a sharp stone blade, removing flesh from bone with practiced skill. When the job was done, this unknown ancient relative of ours was rewarded with a satisfying feast, from the body of another early human. A recent discovery in a Kenyan museum, noticed cut marks on a 1.45 million year old shin bone, it may be the oldest evidence of ancient human relatives butchering and presumably eating each other. Nine distinctive marks, oriented in the same direction, show repetitive cuts in the place where calf muscle attaches to bone, revealing a stone tool methodology typically used to remove meat. Two bite marks show a big cat also took a chomp on this ancient human's bone. Because only the shin bone survives, Researchers can't say just which ancient species of Homo sapiens relative was cut up and devoured. Further down the line, a 430,000-year-old skull suggests murder is an ancient human behavior. Deep in a cave in northern Spain, archaeologists have uncovered fragments of a skull with protruding eyebrow ridges and a smaller brain area than you would find in a modern-day human. Researchers say it belongs to an early human relative that predates even the Neanderthals, which them themselves have been discovered to butcher and cannibalize their own. It took scientists years to reconstruct the ancient cranium from 52 bits of bone, each about the size of a quarter. But when they finally did, they noticed something strange. 
the skull had two holes just left of the center of the forehead. The pattern of fractures revealed that the bone broke while still enmeshed in living tissue. It was also clear the victim, probably a male in his early twenties, could not have survived long after the blows were inflicted. The two wounds were almost identical and could not have been caused by a fall, an attack by a predator, or an accidental collision with a tree or rock, the archaeologists have stated. And so they came to a dark conclusion, this ancient skull is evidence of the earliest known murder among our ancestors. The findings suggest that interpersonal violence may be baked into the human experience. Exploring the world of ancient predators provides us with a fascinating glimpse into the challenges our ancestors faced. From the mighty saber-toothed cats, to our forever long nemesis and snakes, these formidable creatures shaped the course of human evolution. By understanding their behaviors and interactions they had with our early ancestors, we can appreciate the remarkable journey that led us to where we are today.